Hello and welcome to ArchiTizzy. You won't believe how simply I made this in Revit and whenever you are dealing with the geometries with the forms like this, uh, what you have to do is to understand geometry itself, to break it down to the simple components and then to apply a proper modeling tools. So all those things I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So even if you're a beginner, you will be able to create this complex form just with, uh, with following this tutorial from beginning till the end. And by the way, I also would like to invite you to join us, to join our community on Mighty Networks. It's completely free, so you just need to sign up and you will be in. And the most important, you are going to find some very useful perks there as well. So before we start with Revit, we have to do the breakdown of this geometry. And let's say that I would assume that uh, this radius till the end is, let's say, 8 meters. And then we have this part here. And I will assume that, let's say, this part is one and a half meters. And then we have it uh, three times. So I'm going to create this in Revit. And I'm using Revit 2025. So the first thing, the first tool which I'm going to use will be a line tool. LI is a shortcut. And I'm going to create circles. And the first one is eight meters. And then we have the offset on one and a half meters and it goes three times. So one, two, and then three. And then just be aware of one thing that we have, let's say the middle, and then we have a straight lines in the opposite directions. And I'm going to draw them with the lines as well. And I will select those lines, we'll take a rotate tool and place to the intersection of those reference planes. We are going to use this intersection a lot in this video and rotate with 180 degrees with the copy checked. So, okay. And let me go back one more time to the picture. Uh, it's quite important to spot this small part here. So I'm going to make this one as a 250 millimeters. So again, take a line tool and I will just offset this inside for 250. And basically all the elements here are the roof element and I'm going to model it that way in Revit as well. So go to the architecture and take a roof by footprint. Revit asking if I would like to do it on level two. Yes, I can do it. It's okay. I will just open level two. So for the better overview, and then I will just start making it this way. Okay, we have defined slopes. I will fix it later on. And because we don't want to have uh, slopes everywhere, I will select everything, we'll uncheck it, and then I will just select those two sides and we'll create the slopes of, let's say, 30 degrees here. So in 3D, you see how it looks like. And I will just turn off annotation categories. I don't need them in this case. So we have a better overview of what we are doing and we also don't need this level one. So here I will then uh, create one more thing. It's quite important. As I said before, we had a three elements. So one, two, three, but this is the fourth one. And then I'm going to make it. And by the way, if you don't want to have those roof defines, uh, automatically when you're creating roofs, when you are in a roof tool, in the options bar you have this defined slopes, so just uncheck this one. We can make it like this, and then we have, we need a slope here, 30 degrees as well. So you see how it looks like, and actually this roof here, uh, it doesn't need to stop at this part, it actually needs to go something like this. I can take a trim tool. And then I will select those two roofs and we'll take a rotate from the center of rotation from the center uh, from the intersection of the reference planes. Sorry. So this is how it looked like. And now comes a very important part. So I will take this roof join roof will select the side of the roof, the edge of the roof, which, which I would like to join to this side. And I will repeat again 
here to this side so this part is done but what's what's not good here is that we have some uh, uncleaned geometry underneath so let me clean it and for that one i'm going to use a vertical opening then select your roof and create how your opening is going to look like and by the way you see the trim is not working here so trim is not working with the splines so when you have a spline and you would like to trim it you cannot so you need to select this and then drag this blue dot till the end so it's done and i can just repeat the same thing here And I will just isolate this so you see how it's nicely cleaned and fine there. And uh, let me continue. So the next thing is to create those roofs here. So I will just select one of them. We'll go to create similar and then let's make it. And those two needs to have a slope of 30 degrees. And we need to create one more. Okay, so what's the process? In this case, we also have to do something and but let me let me just rotate this let me rotate because i would like to show you something later on and yeah i will i will take join roof and then i will select this roof actually sorry i will go to the architecture we'll take a dormer tool and we'll select this roof and then i'm going to pick those roofs here so again we cannot use a trim because we are working with the splines so we need to trim it actually to drag it this way and we can do the same here you can drag from 3d view as well so it's clean from inside it it seems fine but the outside is not done yet and by the way if i take this one and if i do let's say this you see that it will work sorry i forgot to clean something yes this one so you see that this works well and it will it will work the same for this one As you could see but if we do that thing to the to the last one we will end up having a problem so in this case i will just actually what i can do i will just go here and i will undo a lot of things i can make it how it's been at the beginning so what i'm gonna do now i will create a shaft so i will not use the vertical opening and then i can i can actually make it yes something something like this eight meters and And now you will see that we are going to end up to the having problem at this part here. As I said, so the reason is because this roof comes here at the zero and then this extension doesn't work, stop, it stopped working. And in order to fix it, I can make it this way. I will take a line and we'll pick a line here. So it's the same thing as we had uh, at this part we'll select actually we'll let's make this wireframe 
and then I will select that line and I'm going to rotate it and place it here. So let me isolate. I will now edit this roof. We'll pick this spline and let me show you if I isolate this, you see that this is clean. So the dormer works, the roof is clean. So this is a kind of the workaround in this case. And uh, let me isolate this one and I will just select our shaft. I will rotate it with a copy checked from this intersection for 180 degrees. So in this case, we also need to fix this part because it's enjoined. So for this upper roof, And if I turn off all the lines, you see how our roof look like. And if you would like to miss, uh, actually to avoid, to have no this, this line here, uh, you just need to go here to the join and then join those two roofs. And then that line is going to disappear. So this was, uh, this was basically it for the modeling this roof. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. And if you're interested in, in leveling up your modeling skills and to learn more about the roofs in Revit, take a look at the videos from this playlist. There I explain how you can create a very nice architectural geometries, a very complex one on a very simple way in Revit.